All right, so let's just get started in a comfortable seat on our mats, whatever that looks like. So close the eyes, ground down to the sit bones, find a tall spine, roll the shoulders up to the ears and down the back a few times. Just beginning to arrive here in the space. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in through the nose, filling up, expanding through the space. And then exhale, just let it go. Keep a deep breath in. Hold at the top. Exhale. Beautiful. Just starting class with three ohms. Take a deep breath in. of the divine masculine energy. So just because you're male or female doesn't mean that you're all one or the other. We all have a little bit of both. And right now, like at this time in our society, it's, we're very like masculine driven. So masculine is like the strength, but it's also like goal oriented. We're very like into our checklist. We're very go, go, going, right? So we're sold like this dialogue, this like belief system, this paradigm that from a very young age, we're supposed to like go hit all these like benchmarks, right? We're supposed to go to high school, graduate high school, get into a four year college, graduate college, get into or get the killer job, right? And then make like six figures, buy a house with a white picket fence, find the perfect partner, get married, like all these things. You're just like going through the motions, checking the boxes boxes and you forget to invite in the feminine energy right so the feminine energy is like your intuition it's like your heart's desires right so we forget to slow down and like really like tune in and listen to what our soul really wants in our life right so today as we chant I invite you guys to think about something that like might be holding you back so letting that go maybe just baby steps, like micro, like just let go of something small and inviting in a little bit more of something that you need more of, right? That like your heart is calling for, that you're like yearning for, okay? All right, so close the eyes, sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath in, deep breath out. I sing and you sing and I sing and you sing. <clears throat>
mantra for a moment. Allow it to resonate in the body, to resonate in the mind. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good. And just gently blinking the eyes open. Let's make our way into child's pose today. So starting in child's pose, just beginning to arrive on your mat, arriving here in the space, take a deep breath in, deep breath out, Good. trying to find my volume, there we go, and then slowly start to walk the hands off to the left side of your mat. Reaching through the left fingertips, grounding down through, or the right fingertips, sorry, grounding down through the right sit bones, finding length here, crawl the fingertips off a little bit further. Oh my God, your puppy's so cute. <laughs> and then slowly walk the hands back through center and off to the opposite side, reaching through the left fingertips, grounding down through the left sit bones, find length in that left side. Crawl the fingertips a little bit further. Deep breath in, expanding that left rib cage. Exhale, good. Slowly walk the hands back through center. And we're just gonna find a little shoulder stretch here. So prop yourself up onto your elbows. Hands hover in prayer overhead and then just rest the third eye down to the mat. So start to sit the seat back in space, yeah, finding an opening in the chest here. Deep breath in. Let's turn this up. There you go. Exhale. Release the hands out in front of you. And then just slide all the way forward onto your belly. We're going to take a sphinx pose. Yeah, so bring the elbow or the hands directly off from the elbows. And then grip the mat with the fingertips. Pull the heart through. Yeah. So elbow, forearms are down. There you go, Thomas. And then like really think about like pulling that heart through. Shoulders down and away from the ears, beautiful. Gaze is over the right shoulder. Good, gaze left, just finding this little opening in the neck. Gaze right. Gaze left. Release the chest down to the mat. Bring the hands to the front two corners of your mat, elbows go wide. Inhale, roll the heart up off the mat, gaze goes up, find space. Exhale, lower the heart down to the mat. Moving with the breath, inhale, peel the heart up, gaze goes up, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, lower everything down. Last time, inhale, peel the heart up, gaze goes up. Exhale, lower everything down. Hands come in line with the chest. Press up into a lazy upward facing dog. Legs can stay down on this first round. Just find space. And then exhale, just make your way into your tabletop position. Moving through a couple rounds of cat cows. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze comes up. Moving with the breath. Exhale, round through the spine, gaze is at the belly. Press the floor away from you. Inhale, arch up, look up, shine the heart forward. Exhale, round and hollow, gaze is at the belly. Good, one more round, inhale, arch. Exhale, round it out, gaze is at the belly. Good. Now just begin to invite in some organic movement here. So just moving intuitively, just taking a little survey of the body, noticing where you're holding any tension today. And just inviting in that breath, inviting in that movement, working into the hips, the shoulders. Yeah, finding space in the body, wherever you're holding any stagnant energy, just finding that space. Good. And then maybe finding a wrist stretch here, reversing the hands on the mat, thumbs to the outside, go ahead and lean back, let the head hang heavy and just sway side to side. Opening up the forearms. Good, shake the head yes and no. Good. Bring the hands back to neutral. Tuck the toes under, hover the knees about two inches up off the mat. Press the space up between the shoulder blades, fire up the core, holding here, just starting to build a little bit of heat in the body. Three, two, one. Slowly start to send the sit bones up and back. First downward facing dog. Finding some movement in this first down dog. 
So if you want me to completely respect your space today, just raise a leg up. I give like down dog assists. <laughs> okay, like distance, socially distanced assists. <laughs> All right, send the right leg up high to the sky. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Start to circle it out here in one direction, just releasing that ball and socket joint. Yeah, finding space in the hip and then switching directions. Just big circles, releasing any crunchies in the hip. And then send the right leg up high behind you, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, pause here. Starting to build a little bit of heat in the body. Yeah, good. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, step it to the outside of the right hand. Come into your high lizard lunge. Drop the hips, open the heart. Gaze goes up, sink the hips. And then moving with the breath, exhale, bow to the inside of the right leg, release the head and the neck. Inhale, shift it forward, gaze goes up, find space. Exhale, straighten it out, bow to the inside. One more round, inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, shift it back. Flex the right toes back to the face. And then think about drawing that right hip back in space. Find the length in the back of the right leg. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, bend back into the right knee. Come, lower the back knee to the mat and just drop down to the forearm. So low lizard lunge. Good, let the head hang heavy, sway side to side. Allow that right knee to like spill open to the right side of the space. So rolling onto the knife's edge of the right foot, yeah. And then either stay here. So either you stay on your left hand or you're on your left forearm and then press the right thigh away from you. Gaze is over the right shoulder. Find this twist. Really press that right knee open. If you're super open and like this is doing nothing for you, you can bend the left knee and ca or catch the top of the left foot with the right hand. Gaze is over that right shoulder. Depends on your level. Maybe you haven't practiced in a while. Totally fine, just take your time. Deep breath here. Exhale, release the right hand down, tuck the left toes under, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Other side, left leg goes high, bend the knee, open the hip, start to circle it out here in one direction, just releasing that hip joint. Good. And then switching directions, big circles, just finding space in the hips. There you go. Send the left leg back up high to the sky. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, pause. Find this engagement. Yeah, just a little bit of strength. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, step it to the outside of the left hand. High lizard lunge, open the heart, drop the hips, gaze goes up. Moving with the breath, exhale, straighten the left leg, release the head. Inhale, shift it forward, gaze is up, find space. Exhale, straighten it out. One more time, inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, shift it back. Flex the left toes back towards the face. Feel the length in the back of the left leg. Good. Think about drawing that left hip back in space. Soften the head and the neck. Notice if you're holding tension in the jaw. Bend back into the left knee, come down to the forearms. Low lizard lunge, drop the back knee. Yeah, good. Either stay here, nice and low, or prop yourself up on that right forearm, right hand, press the left knee open to the left side of the space, gaze is over that left shoulder. Yeah, so really thinking about the gaze today, so you can get that opening in the neck, in the sides of the neck. So bend the right knee if you did on the other side, maybe you ca caught that back foot, good. And then release the hands down to the mat, tuck the, right toes under and you're going to step the right foot to the outside of the right hand come into your malasana yogi squat hands to prayer at heart center pressing the thighs open yeah so you, we're pretty early in our practice so if you're up here totally fine just shift side to side opening up that inner groin yeah drew wider stance too just so you can get that opening good yeah all right release the hands down to the mat straighten the legs Ragdoll pose, grabbing opposite elbows, let the head hang heavy and just sway side to side. Shaking the head out, yes. Shaking the head out, no. 
Good. Release the hands down to the mat, engage the core, and begin to roll up, stacking one vertebrae at a time. The head is the last to rise. When you reach the top, sweep the arms up overhead, find that full body stretch, really reach up, stretch up. Exhale, bring the hands to prayer at heart center, closing the eyes here, and just taking a moment to set an intention for your practice today. Good, so maybe that intention is to just let go of something in your life that's like not in line with your true calling, right? Your dharmic path, what resonates with your soul. So just slowly like removing those things from your life, removing those obstacles. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Good, blink the eyes open. Front of the mat, toes and heels to touch, Tadasana. Surya Namaskare, Sun Salutation A. Inhale, arms up, palms press, gaze goes up. Exhale, fold it forward over straight legs. Inhale, look forward and lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, starting to cultivate your ujjayi breathing here in this first down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Finding that restriction in the back of the throat with the breath, inhale. Exhale. Good, one more big breath, fill up. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms up, palms press, gaze goes up. Exhale, Tadasana, arms by the side. Two more times, just like that. Inhale, arms up, palms press, gaze up. Exhale, fold it forward, bow over straight legs. Good, inhale, look forward and lengthen. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathing here. I was watching Stranger Things this week and the song is on Stranger Things. I like rewatched all of Stranger Things, so. <laughs> Feeling like my uh, 90s, uh, you know, tunes. <laughs> deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms up, palms press, gaze goes up. Exhale, Tadasana, arms by the side, last time. Inhale, arms up, palms press. Exhale, pour it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe, inhale. You're so cute. Exhale, good, deep breath in. Exhale, good, inhale. Exhale, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms up, palms press. Exhale, Tadasana, arms by the side. Ukatasana, chair pose. Bend the knees, arms up, palms press. Gaze goes up, suck the belly in. Tuck the tailbone under. Big breath here. Exhale, fold it forward, bow over straight legs. Inhale, flat back, look forward. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, warrior one, rise up. Strong warrior, I know all you guys have a good warrior. <laughs> Ground through the knife edge of the back foot. Bend the right knee a little bit deeper, Drew. Good, deep breath here. Open up warrior two. We're gonna take it slow this first round. So bend into that right knee, gazes over the right fingertips. Good, suck the belly, tuck the tailbone. Bend a little bit deeper, Micah, one more breath. Flip the right hand, reach up, reach back, reverse your warrior. Find the length in the right side of the body. Sink a little bit deeper, reach a little bit further. One more breath here. Exhale, hands come down, frame the right foot, left hand grounds, right hand goes high. Find your twist, beautiful leg ground. Yes, inhale, really wringing out the spine. So go beyond 90 degrees, just allow that heart to fall open. Inhale, 
Exhale, hands come down, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, warrior one, rise up. Take your time, find your foundation. Good. And then exhale, open up, warrior two. Gazes over those left fingertips. Press that left knee open. Beautiful. Widen your stance, Drew. Flip the left hand, reach up, reach back, reverse your warrior. Find the length here. Keep that deep bend. Reach a little bit further here for three, two, one. Hands come down. Find your twist. Right hand grounds. Left hand goes high, high on the ball of the back foot. Peel the heart open to the sky. Allow it to fall open. One more breath here. Exhale, left hand comes down. Step it back, vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths, catching your breath here. Inhale, exhale. Deep breath in, fill up. Exhale, empty out. Last big breath, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or flow forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose, bend the knees, arms up. Exhale, fold it right back down, bow. Good, inhale, look forward and lengthen. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, good. Inhale, right foot forward, warrior one. Moving a little bit faster here. Open up, warrior two. Inhale, reach up, reach back, reverse. Exhale, hands down, find your twist. Peel the heart open to the right side of the space. Hands down, chaturanga, flow. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Left foot forward, warrior one, rise. Open, warrior two. Reach up, reach back, reverse. Exhale, hands down, simple twist towards the left side of the space. Hands down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Last time, right foot forward, warrior one. Just building heat. It's a little bit cool today, right? Open up, warrior two. Reach up, reverse. Exhale, hands down, twist. Step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. Last time, open, warrior two. Reach up, reach back, reverse. Hands down, simple twist towards the left side of your mat. Hands down, chaturanga. Yeah. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Catch your breath, inhale. Exhale. Good deep breath in. Exhale. One more big breath. We're just gonna add on. Step the right foot forward, warrior one. Open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands down, find your twist. And then roll onto the knife edge of both the feet. Drop the hips to the mat, reach to the back of your space. Yeah, sink the hips. Moving with the breath here. Inhale, lift and lengthen, reach it forward. Yeah, you got it. Exhale, drop the hips, reach it back. Two more times, inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Good, this time, inhale, lift. Keep pressing the floor away from you. Engage your core, Vashistasana. Maybe you try it with the big toe bind transition. Sending that right leg up high to the sky. Lift up through the left side of the body. A little bit higher for three, two, one. Listen up, try to land the left foot all the way back forward between the hands, or right foot, sorry. Rise up in your high lunge, high on the ball of the back foot. Good. Open up to the right side of the space. Find your twist. Maybe land the right hand to the back of the left thigh. Reach up through those left fingertips. Reach, find the length in the left side. Windmill the right arm forward. Open up, right into Skandasana back of your mat. Bend into the left knee. Right toes go high to the sky. Amanda, we did this last night. Inhale, you're gonna pop up to your warrior two. Heel to arch alignment. We're gonna move with the breath here. Drop it back, Skandasana, two more times. Inhale, lift, warrior two. Exhale, drop it back, Skandasana, one more time. Inhale, lift. Whoop. Exhale, Skandasana, back your mat. Pop it up to your warrior two. Right away, reverse your warrior. Reach up, reach back. 
Exhale, extended side angle. Right hand down, left hand goes up and over. Gaze goes past those left fingertips. Yeah, so pressing the right knee, open to the right side of the space. There you go, Micah. Yeah, hips open to the left. Maybe you find your bind. If you wanna move into your bird of paradise here, you can go for that. Just honor your body, whatever's calling to you today, right? Good. It's like three more breaths here to play. Good. If you're up, slowly make your way back down. And then hands down, chaturanga. Take your time. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, left side, left foot forward, warrior one, rise. Open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Good, exhale, hands down, find your twist. Good, and then roll onto the knife's edge of both the feet. Drop the hips to the mat, reach to the back of the space. There you go. Inhale, lift and lengthen, reach it forward. Exhale, drop it back. Two more times, inhale, lift and reach, press the floor away. Exhale, drop it back. Good, this time inhale, lift, press the floor away from you, find your core engagement, Vashistasana. Maybe you collect that big toe and send the left leg up high. Nice, Janet, yes, press the floor away from you, lift up a little bit higher. And then listen up, you're gonna try to land the left foot forward without placing the left hand down on the mat. High lunge, beautiful. Open up the arms to the left side of your space. Gaze goes over the left fingertips. Maybe land the left hand to the back of the right thigh. Reach through those right fingertips. Find the length in the right side of the body. Inhale. Exhale, sweep the right arm forward. Open up to your warrior two. Right away, skandasana. Back here, mat. Bend into the right knee. Left toes go high. Moving with the breath. Inhale, pop it up, warrior two. Exhale, drop it back, skandasana. Two more times. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, drop. Good, this time warrior two. Flip and reverse your warrior, reach it up. Exhale, extended side angle. Your variation. If you took the bind on the other side, go for that. Good. If not, like no worries. Good, just settling in here, feeling the stretch. Maybe moving into your bird of paradise if you took it on the other side, stepping that right foot forward to meet the left, shifting the weight into the right foot to float that left foot. One more breath here. If you're up, make your way back down the same way you came up. Hands come down, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath here, deep breath out. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, empty out. One more inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Inhale, step or float forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Bend the knees, arms up. Exhale, come to stand to Dasana. Moving on, hook the thumbs out in front of you. Reach up and arch your back. Press the hips forward. Find your back bend. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms, clasp hands, straighten arms and legs, bow. Hands come down, step the right foot back, come into your runner's lunge. We're gonna set this up, okay? Exhale, straighten the left leg, bow over the left leg, wide pyramid. Then back into the left knee, drop the right knee, hook the thumbs out in front of you, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Pull the thumbs apart, sink into that left knee, feel the release in the front of the right hip, now we're gonna do something different here. Amanda, we did this last night. So plant the hands out on the mat in front of you and you're just gonna find little scissor kicks here. So you're gonna float up, scissor kick, land it back, low lunge. Moving a few times through that. So plant the hands, scissor kick it up, whoop. <laughs> so it's a little bit of momentum for your handstand. So you want the entire hand grounded on the mat. Good, just a few hops. And then you land it back in your low lunge. Good, nice. All right, landing back in your low lunge. Hook the thumbs when you're ready. Good, and then plant the hands to the mat. Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. Walk the hands out in front of you. Release the head and the neck. Good, find length in the spine. Exhale, good. 
and back into the left knee, tuck the right toes, send the left leg up high behind you. Bend the knee, open the hip. You're gonna flip your dog, come into your rock star pose. Land the left foot behind you. Reach the left fingertips to the front of the space. Lift up a little bit higher here. Press the floor away from you. Three, two, one. Listen up, you're gonna come down to your seat facing the mirrors. So just come all the way down to your seat. This is nice, we can see each other now. <laughs> and then place the left foot across on the outside of the right thigh. Seated spinal twist with the leg extended. So hook the right elbow, gaze is over that left shoulder. Oh, you can't do it. I was gonna assist you. <laughs> Good, one more big breath here, really finding this twist. Good. And then exhale, counter rotate, take a bow in the opposite direction. You're gonna plant your hands all the way back to the front of the mat and send that left leg up high to the sky behind you. Three-legged dog. Shift forward to your three-legged plank. Akapada Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower your knees, your chest, and your chin to the mat. Inhale, slide to cobra. Exhale, press the seat back towards the heels, downward facing dog. Good. Beautiful. Inhale, right leg goes high to the sky. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Pause here, or you can fly. Ekapada Kundinyasana. Good. Nice, Janet. Nice, Thomas. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Slide it through. Come into your shooting star. Fall in triangle. Press the hips up to the sky. Reach it forward. Drop the head back. Lift. Exhale, hands come down. Right leg goes up and back behind you. Three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Rise up in your high lunge. High on the ball of the back foot. All right, we're going to move here. So start to tilt the torso forward. Find length all the way from the left heel through the fingertips. And then you're going to pull it back. Crack the heart open to the sky. Goddess arms. Sweep and scoop the arms forward. Come all the way to this length again. And then rock it back. Crack the heart open, goddess arms. Sweep and scoop it forward. Reach, find length. Exhale, crack it open. Stay here. Interlace the hands at the lower back. Slide the fist down the left leg. Drop the head back in space. And then start to tilt the torso forward. Float the left leg into your warrior three pose. Yes. So pressing the fist to the back of the space. Find your dristy, one point of focus. Strong in that right leg. Lift the left leg a little bit higher. Good, and then you're gonna transition. Draw the left knee all the way up and into the chest. Send the arms up high to the sky. Dancing Shiva pose. So either you catch the outside edge of the left foot with the right hand, or you just catch that knee, gazes over the left shoulder. Stand up nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, one more breath, challenge your balance, inhale. Exhale, just let it go, release. <laughs> Shake it out. I know, long sequence, right? But it's fun. <laughs> All right, hook the thumbs out in front of you, reach up and arch your back. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms, clasp hands, straighten arms and legs, deep breath here. Hands come down, step the left foot back, runner's lunge, gaze goes up. Exhale, straighten the right leg, wide pyramid, just bow over the right leg. Then back into the right knee, lower the left knee, hook the thumbs on Janayasana. Find your low lunge, sink into the right knee, feel the release in the front of the left hip. Big breath here. Exhale, we're gonna find those handstand scissor hops again. So hands go out in front of you, tuck the left toes under, and just scissor kick it up, land it back, low lunge. Three times, hands out in front of you. Scissor kick it up, land it back. So it's just a little hop. It doesn't have to be anything big. Land in your low lunge. One more time, hands come down, scissor kick. Low lunge, good. Hands down, Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. Draw the left hip back in space. It's just a little opportunity to start to work on handstands. So if you don't have like handstand in your practice at all, it's like a nice little easy 
kick up because it's not anything like structured, right? Just a little bit more flowy. Good. Bend back into the left knee. Tuck the right toes under, or right knee, sorry. And then sweep the right leg up high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip. Flip your dog. Come into your wild thing, your rock star pose. Press the hips up to the sky. Reach to the front of the space. Lift up a little bit higher. Three, two, one. Come all the way down to your seat, facing the back of the space. Right foot comes across the left thigh. Twist to the right side of the space. Seated spinal twist. Finding length on every inhale. And every exhale, twisting a little bit deeper, seeing something new behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Last big breath, inhale. Exhale, counter rotate, untwist your twist, bow in the opposite direction. Come all the way forward, roll onto the ball of the left foot, send the right leg up high behind you, three-legged dog. Shift forward to your three-legged plank, Akapada Chaturanga. Good. Drop the right foot, inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin down on the mat. Inhale, slide to cobra. Exhale, press the seat back towards the heels, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes high. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, pause. Good, inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Straighten out the left leg. Come into your fallen triangle. Peel the heart open. Press the floor away from you. Lift those hips up. Inhale. Exhale, right hand down. Left leg goes high to the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Rise up in your high lunge. High on the ball of the back foot. Yeah, settle in. Good, start to tilt the torso forward. Find the length from the right heel through the right fingertips. And then you're gonna pull it back, goddess arms. Crack the heart open to the sky. Scoop and sweep the arms forward. Find length, reach it forward. Exhale, rock it back. Good, one more time, inhale, lift or reach. Exhale, crack the heart open. Interlace the hands at the lower back. Peel the heart open to the sky, gaze goes up. Start to tilt the torso forward. Float the right leg up off the mat. Warrior three. Yeah, so challenging your balance. Lifting up through that right leg. Pressing the fist to the back of the space. Good, one more breath. Release the hands. Start to draw that right knee into the chest. Stand up nice and tall. Reach the arms up. And then exhale, dancing Shiva pose. Twist it open to the right. Maybe you just catch that right knee. Maybe you extend the left leg, find length in the spine. Exhale, good. Release the foot, let it go. <laughs> Lots of core. <laughs> All right, hands come to the hips, feet are hip-width distance apart. Open the heart, and then lower all the way down with the flat back, Padagustasana. Collect the big toes, lift up halfway and lengthen. Exhale, pull the chest down to meet the thighs. Elbows go wide, release the head and the neck. Good. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, lift up halfway. Walk the hands underneath the feet for Padahastasana. Hand to foot pose, so the toes Meet the wrist creases. Inhale, look forward, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, pull the chest down to meet the thighs. Elbows go wide. Good, release the head and the neck. What? Oh, okay. Good, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale here. So Drew, just fold. Yeah, you're good. Good, inhale, lift up halfway. Walk the hands out from underneath the feet. Pada, or Bakasana, sorry, crow pose. Walk the hands about a foot out in front of the feet. Elbows go, are bent. Knees go up into the armpits. Gaze is really far forward. Yeah, set this up. Shift the weight forward. Maybe you float one foot. Yeah, so just find your foundation. Yeah, nice, Drew, beautiful. And then when you can't hold it any longer, shoot it back, chaturanga. Nice, Saskia. Saw you at home. <laughs>
Inhale up, exhale back. Deep breath in here, exhale. One last little sequence here. Inhale, right leg goes high behind you. Exhale, knee to nose, hug it in. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Rise up in your high lunge. High on the ball of the back foot, bend into that right knee. Eagle arm, sweep the left arm underneath the right. So wrap the left arm under the right, press the forearms away from you. Maybe find a little back bend here if you can. Challenge your balance. If this is enough for you, just being upright, like stay here, not a problem. Maybe you find the back bend. Good. And then as you start to lift back up, drop the left heel. Devotional warrior with the eagle arm wrap. Just bow to the inside of the right leg, drawing that right hip back in space. Release the head and the neck. Sink a little bit deeper for three, two, one. As you rise all the way back up, unwind the arms, open up to your warrior two, heel to arch alignment. Good, straighten the right leg, catch the right wrist, and just lean to the back of the space. Open up through the right side of the body, the left foot. As your arms come back to a T, Walk the back foot in a little bit for your Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Reach, reach, reach forward, and then tick-tock the arms to six and 12. Gaze goes up over those left fingertips. Yeah, stacking the left hip on top of the right. Good. Finding this foundation. I'm like, I would assist you, but... Okay, good. And then start to reach the right fingertips to the front of the room. So you find length all the way through that right side of the body. Good, you've been practicing this at home, so. <laughs> One more breath here. Exhale, hands come down, frame the right foot with the hands, walk the back foot in a little bit for your pyramid pose. Inhale, lift up and lengthen. Exhale, fold over the right leg. Think about drawing that right hip back in space. Good. Two more breaths here, just release the head and the neck. One more big breath. Exhale. Good. Revolve Trikonasana, left hand down, right hand goes high. Maybe the left hand comes to the outside of the right foot, if you have that. If not, like the left hand can just stay down underneath the face. So ringing out through the spine, gaze goes up past those right fingertips. Good. Challenge your balance. There you go. Little shakes, like it. Right. Left or right hand comes back down to the mat. And then just pivot into Prasarita Padatanasana, wide leg forward fold. Set this up, facing the left side of the space. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold forward between the legs. Good. Good. Breathe here. Exhale. There you go. Inhale, lift up halfway. Bend into the left knee, Skandasana, back of the mat. Just one breath. Good. Maybe open up the arms for a breath. Inhale. Exhale, shift it to the front of the mat, Skandasana, front. Open up the arms, gazes over the left shoulder. Good. Pivot and plant the hands. Drop the back knee, sweep the arms up, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, twist. Hook the left elbow on the outside of the right thigh. Hands to prayer. Maybe you float the back knee up off the mat. Maybe you open up the arms to fly. Maybe you find your bind. Whatever is calling to you today, find three more breaths. So finding even more length. Exhale, twist. Good, deep breath in. Exhale, one more, inhale. Exhale, hands come down, chaturanga. Step it back, vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last side, inhale, left leg goes high. Exhale, knee to nose, hug it in. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, step it forward, rise up in your high lunge. Strong high lunge. Sweep the right arm underneath the left, eagle arms. Press the forearms away from you. Either stay here or start to trace that line. Good. Sinking into that left knee. Finding a little back bend here. 
<laughs> it's all good. All right, and then start to rise back up, drop the right heel, devotional warrior. Bow to the inside of the left thigh. Release the head and the neck. Good. Danny, I stole the song from you. It's so good. If you guys haven't taken Danny's class at Ahana, she's amazing. Love her. She's just flow and restore and a power flow now. And she's about to have a baby, so. <laughs> Inhale, rise all the way back up. Open up to your warrior two. Good, heel to arch. Straighten the left leg, catch the left wrist, lean to the back of the space, find length. Exhale, arms come back to a T, shorten the stance. Trikonasana, reach, reach, reach forward. Tick tock the arms to six and 12. Left hand goes down, right hand goes high. Stacking the right hip on top of the left. Good, gaze goes up past those right fingertips. Start to send the right arm forward. Find length all the way through the right side of the body. One more big breath, really reach. And then exhale, bring the hands down to frame the left foot. Walk the back foot in a little bit for your pyramid pose. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold over the left leg, just bow. Think about drawing that left hip back in space. Good. Did I assist you on this one? Yes. Okay. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> Good. Two more. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Lift up halfway. Revolve. Trikonasana. Right hand grounds. Left hand goes high. Take this to your level. Either the right hand's under the face or it comes to the outside of the left foot. Finding this twist. Good. One more inhale here. Exhale, hands come down. Prasarita Padasanasana, wide leg forward fold, facing the right side of the space. Lift up halfway, collect the big toes with the peace fingers, and then pull the chest down between the thighs. Release the head and the neck. Good. Breathe. Deep breath in, deep breath out. All right, inhale, lift up halfway. Bend into the right knee, skandasana back of your mat. If you wanna take a bind on this side, go for that, just for a breath. Gazes over the left shoulder, good. Bend into the left knee. Maybe open up the arms, maybe you find your bind. Skandasana, gazes over the right shoulder. Big breath in. Nice, Danny. <laughs> Exhale, pivot and plant the hands. Lower the back knee, reach the arms up. Anjaneyasana. Exhale, twist. Hook the right elbow on the outside of the left thigh. Hands to prayer. Gaze goes over that left shoulder. Maybe you tuck the back toes under and float the back knee up off the mat. Finding this twist. Ringing out the spine here for three. Two, one, release the hands down to the mat, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, shift forward to your high plank, and then take your time here. We're gonna lower all the way down to our mat for five, four, Biceps are in close to the body. Three, two, one, release everything down. Shalabhasana, locust pose, arms long alongside the body. Inhale, lift everything up off the mat, fly. Yeah, try to bring the toes and heels to touch, reach to the back of the space, lift up a little bit higher for five, four, three, two, catch my wrists. And one, release everything down, gaze in one direction. Just rest, let that go. There, yeah, you're tight. <laughs> All right, bend the knees, catch the outside edges of the feet with the hands, Danurasana, floor bow. Next, inhale, kick into the hands. Peel the heart up off the mat. The harder you kick, the higher you'll go. So kick a little bit harder here for three. Micah's like, don't assist me. 
for two. Kick a little bit harder. One, release everything down. Gaze in the opposite direction. Windshield wiper the legs side to side. Just let that go. Ooh, nice crack. There we go. <laughs> All right, bring the hands back in line with the chest. Just press up. Let's take a camel pose. So just press up onto your knees. Come to standing on the knees. Uh, hips are stacked directly on top of the knees. Knees are hip width distance apart. Hands come to the lower back for support, thumbs to the outside, and then start to press the hips forward, puff the heart up to the sky, drop the head back. Keep pressing the hips forward, drop the head back. Maybe you reach back with the hands to catch the heels with the hands. Good, press it a little bit more, drop the head back. Three, two, one, slowly come all the way back up. Bring the knees together and sit down in between the heels, if you can. <laughs> can be tough for some. Good, so it's coming to your Varasana Heroes pose and just settle in here. Close the eyes, bring the palms face up, reconnect. Either stay here or you can start to recline. If this is enough for you, you stay here. You just feel the stretch in the hip flexors or you start to recline back. Coming down to the forearms, maybe coming all the way down to your back. No? <laughs> all right, breathe. Good, two. One, if you're down, slowly make your way back. Bring the hands out in front of you. Send the right leg back, just give it a stretch. Send the left leg back, give it a stretch. Good, tuck the toes, come back to your downward facing dog. Deep breath here. Exhale, bend the knees and just jump through to your seat. So coming all the way to seated on your mat. Soles of the feet together, knees out wide, Baddha Konasana. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, fold over the feet. Press the elbows into the calves and um, open the knees wide like a book. Yeah. So Saskia, are your soles of the feet together? I can't tell. Yes, no. So Saskia, if you're at home, can you hear me? Bring your soles of your feet together and then fold. Yeah, there you go. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> All right, slowly start to sit back up. Send the legs out long, arms come out to a V, and then engage the core. Slowly start to lower everything down to the mat for five, four, three. The legs might hover up off the mat for two. Reach towards the heels. One, release everything down to the mat. Let's just take a little twist here. So hug the right knee in, send the left leg long, give it a tight squeeze. And then exhale, drape it across the body. Maybe you find your eagle legs here if that feels good. Gazes over the right shoulder, twist, ring it out. Good. Come all the way back onto your back and just switch it out. So hug the left knee in, send the right leg long. Drape it across the body, find your twist. Do whatever you did with your legs on the opposite side. Come all the way back onto your back. Hug both knees into the chest. Make yourself into a teeny tiny ball. So hug everything in nice and tight. Bring the forehead up to meet the knees. Scrunch up the face, the toes, the fingers. Biggest breath yet, fill up. Exhale, release, <sighs> Shavasana. Or if you need to take an inversion in order for your practice to feel complete, you can go for that or you just rest. So take up space, let the body get heavy. Start to let the practice marinate in the body. So coming back to that intention that you set at the beginning of class. So just letting go, leaving something here on your mat that no longer serves you, right? Just letting it go. And surrendering to the process. Surrendering to your intuition. Trusting the process. 
rest. Begin to deepen your breathing. Starting to invite some small movements back into the fingers and toes. Dropping the head over to one side and then the other. Reach the arms up overhead. Find a full body stretch. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, just sigh it out. Draw the knees into the chest and roll over onto one side. Resting in fetal pose for as long as you need to today. And then as you're ready, take your time making your way up to your seat. Keeping the eyes closed. Closing the practice with the mantra, Loka, Samasta, Sukhino, Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free from suffering. And may our thoughts, words, and actions contribute to that happiness and freedom for all.
in front of your heart center, bowing your chin to your chest, knowing and trusting that the true teacher lies inside of each and every one of you. Together we bow. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you for the support. I appreciate you guys so much.